Hi everyone, I'm Janelle with Tunes Unlimited. And a while back, I did a video on how to create a custom outfit for Emma. One of the things I absolutely love about this YouTube channel community is that I receive a lot of feedback, which allows me to create additional content for you because I'm hearing what you're saying and trying to respond to your needs. And I received a, a message from Charlie a while back regarding how I actually got my custom shirt into the dummy template. He was interested. He was like, man, you know, the, the video was great, but I didn't see how you actually sized up your, your own outfit and put it on the dummy template and then imported it into the application. So I decided to do a very quick video to um, help him out and show him how I would import my custom shirt to the dummy template so that I could then import it into, into Crazy Talk Animator. So stay tuned because that tutorial is coming up next. TunesUnlimited.com Hi, Charlie. So a while back, you asked about how do I get my outfits um, into Crazy Talk Animator faster by using the dummy template. And um, I'm not sure if I explained it in that video, but most of the time, if I'm doing a full-blown character from scratch, I don't use the, the, um, the dummy template at all. However, if it's just a garment, say for example, like the shirt that I use, I will use it because in order to import it into the application, you have to have all the body pieces so that it knows how to build the character in the application. So if a body part is missing and you don't have a pivot to represent that body part, it won't import. So here is the dummy template. And one of the first things I do is I just go into that degree angle and hide the pivot so I don't see it. And you can do the same thing for the base. You don't really need to be bothered with that. Now, here's the issue. It's been a while since I've actually um, pulled this file up and I couldn't find the the, um, the original file side, um, the original file for when I did this demo. I did find an, an older version of it, so I'm going to use this as a reference. So right here is the 315 angle for this one. And what I go, what I would do was go into it and copy this whole layer. And then I will go to the dummy template and for that angle, so let's go to the 315 angle. And once again, um, just go ahead and go into it, find the pivot layer and just go ahead and hide both of those. But we're gonna go inside of this body template and anywhere here you can right click and hit paste layer. Now, you can see that the size that I have is a little smaller than his size and actually it might be a perfect fit but let's say um, let's say that you wanted to make it a little bit bigger or do some resizing you can go ahead and hold the shift button and it will gradually make it the size you want so you can make it a little bit thicker And then if you get to something that you like, let's just say it's about right here. What you can do is if that's the, the size that you like, you can go ahead and take the previous layers and just delete those until you just have the one layer that you was working on and it will come out like this. So now the concern will be, okay, well, I have this, this this size, but how do I get the rest of them to be about the same size? And what you can do is just go ahead and use your guide. And you know you want the top here and the bottom there. Now, all of the angles, for the most part, unless it's the top or the bottom, they should be roughly the same height. Um, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem matching them up. 
So what I'm going to do now that I have this one completed, I'm going to go over and let's do the side view angle. And once again, I'm just going to copy the entire layer, pop over to the dummy template. And before I get started with this one, let me just once again hide the two, the pivot and the base. So now I can go in and just right click, paste my layer. The one mistake I did make is I should have done the guides from off of the main scene. So I'm going to do the guides again. We know the bottom is here. And the top is right there. So now we can go back in and see exactly where the size is at. And for some reason, there's an extra guide showing. Just go ahead and clear that. All right, so you can kind of get it in the center. Bring up your transform and using the corners, hold the shift button down and just slowly until you see the squares right here, these little squares, you wanna make sure that it, the line is basically at the middle of them. So now that you have it right, just a matter of positioning it the way you want. And even though it will look weird on Walter, as long as the body functions, as long as the body parts are matching up, you should be able to put them in as this character and then turn around and um, swap them onto Emma or anyone else. Yeah, so you don't wanna focus so much on his body shape. As you can see, like his rump is kind of sticking out on the other end. That's fine. The main thing you want is really for your outfit to line up with the neck and not worry about the, the lower half of it. If you want, you can make the proportions different, but keep in mind that this body shape is going to fit Emma's body shape and her lower half, which is why um, it's kind of good to export the entire character um, the full character with all, all the body parts as a reference so that when you see your artwork, you see how it's going to fit on the entire body, not just the upper torso for this case. So, so hopefully this gives you, um, a better idea of how I am swapping the pieces out. Um, if you wanted to figure out how I do the arms, it's, it's all um, basically the same steps. I will go into the template. Go ahead and paste the layer. As you see, it's almost a, a perfect fit. But once I have my arm in the position that I want, I delete the other layers that came with the application. And therefore, the only thing that remains is my character arm. Now I will say this is the dummy template. So before, before you really get started making any modifications to the dummy template, um, it's always good practices to do a save as and call it a different name. In my case, um, I won't save this, but of course, if for any reason you mess up your dummy template, you can go back online and redownload it. It's just easier to just do a save as so you can always keep your dummy template fresh. But I will do an entire arm for you real quick before I end this video. And as you can see right here, this is a good example. The, um, the arm does not match the right size or anything. The pivot's not in the right spot. So let's just first get it at the angle that we want. Remember, hold the shift button, start shrinking away. And zoom in to make sure 
you get the right size. You can see it's still a little, just a little bit too big. You can hold the shift button, start shrinking away until my lines line up the way I want. And it should be roughly right there. Now, I'm a little off. Let's see. Am I? Or is that the rotation? Yeah, I think I'm slightly off of my axis, off my rotation. So that's roughly where it's at. I can delete the rest of this and you're going to see how my arm doesn't quite match up with what the hand, where the hand is at. And that's fine because once again, like I said, the body components are for the body structure of Emma and not for Saul. The main thing you want really is to have all of your pivots in the right spot so let's go back to the 270 and bring back the pivots I'm sorry not the 270 we're on the 315 and the joint is fitting for the arm and the forearm right right where I wanted that that's actually spot on perfect the main thing that's not fitting now is the hand and um, the hand, uh, the, the bottom part of the hand. And I can take this and reposition this if I want to. But keep in mind when you're uploading this into the application, you're going to only save the shirt. So in this case, the shirt should remember the pivots for the arm, the forearm, the upper torso, and the neck. Keep in mind, in order to save your character, you have to have um, the neck as well. So make sure you include that look in your design. Um, the most important thing I can say about the neck, and I'm gonna hide this base in the pivot for one second. Relusion's dummy template Pay attention to the layering. So in this case, I would not put my neck in front of my upper torso. I would probably put it in the back. So that means I would need to find my neck layer, which is not showing up here. Let me see if I can find it. Must be in the body folder. Okay, so here's my 315 neck. And I really want to just bring this down below my upper torso. Now, if my design is looking like this, you can do a couple of things. If you leave it in front of the upper torso like this, you're going to have to use joint mass to edit out where the skin and the, um, the body components fit. Or you can have it below and know that, okay, this is the stuff I need to tweak for my, um, my character's design. And what I would normally do is zoom in really close. Let's see if we can get any closer to that. So you can zoom in really close to see where you're supposed to cut your lines at. And what I like to do is use my line tool real quick, I mean my pencil tool real quick. And I will, let me make this a little smaller. I would draw what I wanna cut off. So I wanna cut off about right here and I want to cut off right here. And I want, only want to cut off the border. I want to keep everything else. So I can now, because I use the line tool to separate it, just cut that off. And then I can delete my little lines that I have here. And if I need to smooth anything out, I can smooth it out, make it make sense, um, and tweak it however I need to. So now when I go back out of it,
I can look and see where things um, can be modified or if I need to change my border and add a little something right here so that it's a smooth transition. So in this case, keep in mind, I wouldn't, in this case, the skin color of Emma is different from the skin color of Saul. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but I can then see how this is gonna line up perfectly. I can take this and finish my border so that I could even have it come out. And if I wanna smooth that up a little bit, I could smooth it up. I am, um, these are just options, but these are just different ways that you can get more or make a smoother character And now it looks like that outfit was designed to blend it with that character's neck, except for the color change, it would be the same. And to demo it, let me just save this color real quick while I go into it and make this Saul's color. And now it's nice and seamless. So I hope this helps you out with your character design. And um, let me know if you're still having any problems. I can see if I can point you in the right direction. Hope it helps. Take care. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you would like to purchase my product, head over to my store for characters, props, and scenes. If you enjoyed this video, here is a link to another video you might like from this channel. Thanks for joining and take care.